friends and welcome back to But First Coffee where life begins after coffee. Today I have another battle of the drugstore beauty products for you and today we are battling it out highlighters. Do you like highlighters? Put a little on your cheekbones. If you like these battles don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Every time you hit the subscribe button uh, you get a coffee is delivered through your computer screen. No I'm just kidding but I would support that. Like if that was a Kickstarter fund I would definitely Donate money to that for sure. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. First into the ring, we have Kardashian Beauty Incandescent Light Box. This comes in six different colors and costs ten dollars. It claims to offer a blush and highlight all in one to define cheeks with a burst of color. Now the formula on this is nice. It's not too powdery, but it's buildable as well, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it. It gives the skin a really nice, pretty glow. It does have a tiny bit of micro glitter in the pan, but you don't notice it at all when you put it on your cheeks. It it wears really nicely throughout the day as well, so overall this is a really nice, buildable, and easy to use highlighter. Next up we have L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator Blush and Highlight. These cost $13 and come in at three different colors. Now it claims that it is going to be specifically designed to enhance key features and illuminate all over. The first thing I noticed about this formula was that it's really chalky. And that's definitely a bummer seeing as chalky is the opposite of a highlighter. The next thing I noticed was the micro glitter, and man, there is a lot of it. Not only do I find micro glitter unflattering in highlighters, no matter what you do, you end up with little micro glittery sparkly bits all over your face, and you'll actually even notice in all of the swatches after this swatch that the micro glitter is still on my hand because no matter what I did, I couldn't even wash it off of my hands. So it's safe to say that this highlighter was not my favorite. The actual product itself is chalky and powdery, and on top of that, the micro glitter in there makes it a big old mess. Our third highlighter to join this battle is the Physicians Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. This comes in five different colors. Most of them are more bronzy, but this is the pearl one, which is more of a highlighting option, and it costs $14. This claims that it is going to deliver a luxurious, skin-perfecting effect. At first, the product seemed really powdery, and I almost didn't even want to use it, but after you give it a shot, I realized that it actually wasn't as powdery as it seemed. It gives a really subtle but natural glow to the skin. It's definitely more of a sheer application, but I really like that if you're somebody who's looking for something that's a little more natural, maybe you want to do a more all-over highlighter. It's definitely not something if you're doing targeted highlighting, but for a nice, natural, easy-to-use all-over glow, I really enjoyed this. Our fourth contender into the ring is the Revolution Vivid Bait Highlighter. This costs $7 and comes in about three different colors. This product here is the Radiant Light and it claims to be a unique lilac shade that will brighten up the cloudiest of days and make you look radiant. I truly don't know what to say about this without sounding really repetitive because honestly this is almost identical to the Physicians Formula one that we just looked at. The formula is slightly less powdery but the color, the application, the appearance, the wear, it's all almost exactly the same. So if we had to choose between the two, I'd say go for this Revolution one, seeing as it is half the cost, but really it's it's almost the same exact product. Our last contender into the ring is the NYX Strobe of Genius palette, which costs a hefty $19, but it comes with seven different highlighting colors. It claims to be a breakthrough palette that features velvety smooth shades that will enhance your features with serious levels of illumination. Now the formula on these are heavenly. Sure, they aren't all created totally equal, but overall they are mega creamy and super pigmented, and a little goes a long way with these. You can really use these to achieve a beautiful, targeted highlighter look. Now with all of the different color options, at first you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, you're not quite sure which ones to use, but it's kind of nice that you can pick and choose and find ones that are just right for you, and find ones that will match maybe the blush or the makeup look that you're wearing. But honestly, the formulation and the pigmentation on these is really hard to beat, plus it's super long wearing. All right, we've come to that point in the video where we pick a winner. Let's start with which ones are obvious losers. Don't waste your $13 on these L'Oreal Lumi ones. Next, I would say save your money on the Physicians Formula just because you can get the Makeup Revolution one for half the cost. Out of the remaining three, my favorite was definitely the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. It's maybe more of a product for somebody who's a little bit more comfortable with highlighting and somebody who wants to do a more targeted highlighting look. Now, if you're somebody who wants something a little less high maintenance, you want something that's easier to use, a little more sheer, 
The Makeup Revolution or the Kardashian Beauty ones were really, really great. All right, guys, that does it. I hope that this helps you out in choosing your next drugstore highlighter. Make sure you leave me comments down below on what you would like to see me battle out next. A quick note to follow me on Instagram because I'm doing a summer giveaway starting today where I'm giving away something different every single week for the entire summer. But thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video.